In the last few years, there's been growing interest among Catholics on Eucharistic adoration. It's said that the heart of the Catholic Church is the Holy Eucharist. So, to discuss ways to strengthen that core, hundreds came together for an international conference. If we want to evangelize today in the, in the church, if we don't want to impose anything, uh, we must do it with the heart of Jesus. So these two qualities that Jesus gives me in Eucharistic adoration, that is meekness and humility. The congregation of Father Racine organized a conference to intensify and renew Eucharistic adoration in parishes and dioceses throughout the world. It's a process that needs to start with recognizing how the body of Christ can help Catholics in their daily lives. Even if it's only 15 minutes of being before the Blessed Sacrament requires a type of braveness. It comes from recognizing that we need to get our life in order. It's a braveness of overcoming daily challenges, going to a nearby chapel to accompany him, but also to receive his love. With daily workshops and speakers, roughly 300 people from 38 countries, including bishops and cardinals, came together for the conference in Rome. It's a way to exchange ideas from different parishes, and it also highlights the strength that comes from being part of a community. It's very difficult to be Christian if you're alone. And we need to rejoin different Christian communities to help us together to, to grow in faith. It's even intensified because of this act of faith where we really believe that Jesus is there in the Blessed Sacrament. We take the time to come to adore Him. And when we do this act of faith, this act of love, Jesus changes our hearts and gives us a new heart so that we can be true witness of His love. John Paul II often said the Holy Eucharist has three dimensions. The first is the Holy Mass, where the sacrifice is made present. The second is during Holy Communion. And the third, Eucharistic Adoration. Pope Benedict XVI has also promoted this, especially during his meetings with the youth. In August, he'll lead the biggest Eucharistic adoration in history during World Youth Day in Madrid. 